Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jamin. And tonight, on a Friday night, I've got a video for you guys. We're going to go over a special shoe. Now, not everybody's probably going to like this shoe. Um, I can tell you right off the bat. But that's cool. Um, let me give you a little bit of insights as to why I got this shoe, first of all. So, back in February of 2018, I got these guys right here. Okay? This is an Air Force One silhouette. Now, the cool thing about these shoes, the really cool thing about these shoes and why these are considered, I guess, a grail for me, is because we made these shoes. Now, Nike made the shoe, but everything, every piece from this, from the air being this color, from the gum outsole, to the white midsole, to the side panels, to the color of the toe box, to the lace debris, to the color of the laces, to the materials used, to the embroidery of the color of Nike Air on the back, to the sock liner. I know that was a lot, but I'm being straight up. This shoe completely was white, all right? The whole thing was completely white, insole included. Me, my son, uh, Brennan, my son, Ethan, and my wife, Erica, created this shoe for me on what's called Nike ID, or what was called Nike ID. Now it's called Nike by you, but we all pitched in and created this color combination, this colorway. And this was my Father's Day gift, man, back in 2018. So this shoe actually holds a lot of, you know, sentimental value for me. Uh, probably not to you guys. But, you know, like I said, this is cool because I'll never forget me and my family sitting down and creating a sneaker, man. You know, it was a really, really cool thing. And I got it in just for, father, you know, just in time for Father's Day. The materials that they used on this shoe is spot on, okay? I'm gonna tell you the colorway real quick and who picked it out. So the gum outsole, this is the only color, uh, the only thing on the shoe that I actually picked out because I like gum outsoles on Air Force One. So the gum outsole was me. It is dirty because I've worn this shoe a lot. And like I said, it's 2018, so it's three or four years old now. But the white midsole, I believe my, I, can't remember, I think my wife picked this out with the white stitching. Now, the blue, no, actually, my boys picked the midsole out because my wife, she likes earth tone, so she picked out the gray. So everywhere that you see the gray leather, and it is a nice leather, by the way. Nike did a great job, you know, creating this shoe. You can see how soft it is right there. I do have a shoe shield in here to keep, you know, to, to try to help it from creasing. Um, but the materials used, the leather used on this shoe was great. And then my boys, one of them picked out this UNC blue color on the toe box and the swoosh. And then the other one picked out the, the Hyper Royal blue, which is the laces and uh, the side panels right here. And then on the back, I kept that UNC blue and that Hyper Royal blue uh, as the embroidery for the Nike Air right there. And then the insole, I think I may have did the insole too and, and the sock liner right here in black. I believe I, I did, I, that was my thought to do this in black too, just because Black doesn't tend to get as dirty. And then the Lace Dubre, uh, I think, was, was my youngest, He, which looks good. I think this shoe looks good. Uh, the tongue is all leather as well. Y'all can see that. So leather tongue. The patch right there is in black. So overall, man, a clean colorway. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, again, this is something that me and the family created. So let's get into the actual shoe that came in. So here's what happened. I saw on, I saw on uh, Soul Links that they had started doing the Nike by you again for the Air Force One. And I said, you know what? I think it was like 120 bucks. I said, let me create another one, giving, paying homage to this shoe, but I'm gonna create one a little different uh, and, and see how it turns out. You know, $120, that's not cheap, uh, but at the same time, it's a lot cheaper than a Jordan or anything like that. So let's take a look at it. The, cool, the, the thing I wanna show y'all about the box right here, you don't get the just do it box and all that stuff right it comes in this box and it's actually from straight up from china man okay so you see uh ching lung wang tung paper company so that's where it came from or that's the name of the paper company or whatever but anyway let's get it open i did go ahead and use the uh the old trusty knife to get it open so one no uh, what's it called? What do we do? The one-handed unboxing? Well, I guess I still unboxed it though. So here it is guys. Here's the box Okay, Nike by you and I'll tell you guys if y'all want to have an experience with your like I said with your family and create a shoe or whatever 
It's really cool. It's a really cool thing to do. Everybody kind of gets involved in it. And I'm telling you, it'll hold sentimental value to you when, when you get it in. But anyway, uh, right here, you got CRTM. Right here on the side, you got Nike by you. There is no, you know, sizing or, or uh, uh, you know, USD retail. I want to say again, I want to say these were 120 bucks. Don't quote me on that. Um, I should have looked for you guys, but I'm, th I'm thinking it's 100, like 120 or 130, okay? I don't think it's no more than that. Depending on the model of shoe, this is another Air Force One. So you can do Nike by U's and other models of shoes as well. So that's that's cool as well. Let's let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. So here's your paper that comes with your Nike by U. You have this, you know, I guess there's all the different sizes and European sizes and stuff like that. Color. One of one. That's pretty cool right there because this shoe is a one of one. They have so many different uh, makes of this shoe or different kinds of leathers and different kinds of, of suedes and patent leathers and everything else. It diff they're all different color combinations that it truly is a one-on-one -on -one shoe. If, you, if somebody else makes a shoe exactly like you out there, uh, it's going to be a random coincidence, like very random, like maybe one in a million because of all the different combinations. But let's take a look at them. Y'all ready? In three, two, one. But bam there they are guys so here's the shoe that that i've created that pays a little bit of homage I've, I've done a little bit of a change to the shoe let's go ahead and get it out i did a little bit of change to the shoe and i'm going to tell you why i did it now again these, these shoes aren't going to appeal to everybody no doubt okay this isn't a general release this is a one of one shoe so this just came out of my brain right <laughs> anyhow so here it is guys here's what i did with the shoe so this is another air force one all right now you're looking at it and you're going jamin what in the, that doesn't look like that one well it does it's similar okay let me take one down and i'll put the, one of these up here and then let's go through what i changed and what I, why i did it so the outsole i did not change guys i still selected the gum outsole because I like, like I said earlier, I like the gum outsole on the Air Force Ones. I did not go with the white midsole. I went with a cell midsole, a cream colored midsole. I actually like this color. All right, uh, so there's your air. I didn't change the color of the air. I kind of wanted it to just be the same color as the midsole. And I didn't change the color of the stitching right here either. I kept it as well. Now, getting to the most interesting part of the shoe in the park, you're probably saying, what in the world did you do that for? So I have not seen too many patent leather, patent leather Air Force Ones. And you guys, I've showed y'all in my videos before. I actually like the uh, shattered backboard 3.0s. They're all patent leather. I love that shoe. But I didn't want to do a full patent leather Air Force One. So what I did, I switched it up, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the toe box. I like black toes. I like my Jordans. Uh, I love the black toe colorway, okay? But what I wanted to do was change it. It's always black toe, and this is always like a like white for the most part, or it matches kind of the color that's back here on the Jordan. What I wanted to do was match this colorway with the swoosh, okay? And with the midsole. So I kept it in the cell cream color right here, as well as the laces. You guys see that? So anyway, now you've got a black toe. But instead of having that white or that, that color that matches this back here, it matches your leather swoosh. Speaking of leather, again, patent leather here, patent leather around the eye stays right here, okay, for your laces. And then I got this nice, you know, tumbled leather on the toe box, all right? So I, cho I chose that material for the toe box. Now, for the mid panel, I did white patent leather, okay, on the mid panel. Back panel, Bam, I did the white right here because of that midsole. I did this color here because of the toe box and the swoosh. And then on the back, I hit it with that racer blue, okay? That's on the mid panel of those, all right? And then I did the Nike Air again in the lay, in, in the to match the cream right here. So that matches that. I kept the insole or the sock liner black. The insole actually has, I'll show you guys, it's pretty cool. Insole actually has all the different swooshes throughout time. So there's your original swoosh, okay? There's your 
Nike swoosh from 71 all the way up down there. You can see it down in there, all the way up to current state. All right, current state. I sound like I'm at work. But anyway, guys, and, oh, oh, and, and the laces, like I said, I chose to keep the laces, uh, you know, that cream sail color. The tongue, the tongue, instead of having a leather tongue, I went more with this mesh tongue right here like you find on Jordans. I like that material. I did put a throwback tag on here, the Nike throwback tag. I thought that looked cool in the black and orange. But yeah, man, that's it. It came with this lace debray. I didn't select this. It actually just came with this. So this is one thing that I didn't put on it that came with it and I'm, I'm gonna take it off I don't really like it but uh it, worth showing right I want to show it to you but yeah that's it oh and right there on the swoosh that's another I didn't tell y'all about that the swoosh I did in regular in the in that tumbled leather you'll see right here it says first use June 18th 1971 but what I did do and it allowed me to do it I thought it was cool I selected this outline on the swoosh so I put black patent leather behind this cream colored swoosh right here because I thought it kind of played off of the toe box, right? So you have this black patent leather coming off of that guy. I think that looks good. It kind of makes that check pop, that swoosh pop, you know? So yeah, man, that's it. Just wanted to show you guys my new Air Force Ones. And again, this is a tribute to my, to my family uh, and tribute to the original shoes that they got me for Father's Day back in 2018. All right, guys, that's it. That's going to wrap it up. Thanks for joining me in my video today. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down there. Help the channel grow out a little bit. Love talking to you guys. Love socializing. Love that you chose to spend your time watching, you know, the videos. If you want to, jump in the comment section down there. Tell me what you think about the shoe. Let me know if you've ever done the Nike by You program and what shoe you uh, created. You know what I'm saying? Or if you plan on doing it now. Uh, and until next, and if you enjoyed the video, if you, if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up button. It just shows me that you uh, you enjoyed the content today. So with that, look, y'all have a great weekend. Uh, be safe out there, and we'll talk to you soon. It's Jamin. I'm signing out. Peace.